So welcome back, Drifters. So today I woke up and I was like, what happened to the Mustang? I was out in the garage and I was looking around. I couldn't figure out what I was gonna do. And then somehow I wound up with this Miata in here. It's the strangest, oh. oh. Well, uh, <laughs> turns out that we're actually not in Texas anymore. Yeah. And uh, came, came to down, see somebody. Came down to Florida for a little bit. <laughs> so we have a job to do today and we're already behind. Yeah, somebody had an emergency uh, transmission clutch job and uh, yeah. had to call yours truly. So yeah. <laughs> we're back together today and we're gonna be you want to clutch on a Miata, so this oh, should be fun. Yeah, I bought a bought another Miata. This <laughs> is the uh, number three now, and um, I actually owned a uh, E36 for about two months before I bought this. Yeah. So I've been through like three cars already since I left uh, Texas. But... We have a slight car addiction in the family. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing today. So five minutes in, and we're already on our first part run store. So uh, this should be interesting. Part run store. That's a new one. Yeah, part <laughs> run store. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, uh, I bought all the parts. I thought I was good to go, but I forgot my rear main seal I need to buy because it's been leaking. The guy who had the car before me did not do any maintenance on it like whatsoever, and it was leaking from the valve cover, the rear main seal, the transmission, and the crank seal. I had to go do that. That was like the first thing I had to do on the car. But that's a little 9216. It wasn't automatic. Didn't know that at first. And he swapped in a 1.8 transmission in it, so it's just a regular five-speed. And I mean, it works. It, I, he had AC and power steering, but he didn't have it hooked up because he didn't know what to do. And now I have AC, power steering, and everything. So it's a nice little car. I'm trying to make it nicer. It's a daily to save gas. So because I drive a lot, and 13 gallon, 13 miles a gallon in the truck is not great when I'm driving like 30 miles round trip, 40 miles round trip each day. So. It'll save me money in the long run. It's gonna be fun. Talk all the time whenever I go in there. <laughs> they cut the wires to them. They cut the wires? Yeah. Why would they do that? To install these ones, they had the blinker go here, so these don't even work. Damn. So I gotta tell you, this is probably the most oil I've ever seen on the outside of an engine that still runs. It's actually kind of impressive. Now mind you, Austin came behind here with a pressure washer and cleaned everything, and this thing is still covered. Clean the leak, and I had it. Yeah. Probably won't be able to see it too well, but this thing is just coated in oil. This is the driver's side uh, front wheel, and you can see all the oil just from That's oil driving That's not brake dust. Yeah. Do, um, he had a leak for a long time and just didn't care. So now I'm unfucking his problem. Yeah, that seems fine. Ain't this the cleanest Miata you ever seen? Now that's a little bit better. Rear main seal done. Hey, at least this time I didn't have to try to take the pilot bearing out and get a 10 mil stuck in it. That's true. That's proper news. The reason why we're doing this, by the way, is my pilot bearing ex bear blaring. What the fuck are you talking about? My pilot bearing exploded, and I'll show you that right now. Yo, dog. I heard you like pilot bearings. Good lord. That's all that was left of it when I took it out. Oh, I lost a ball. That's why we have to do all of this. I got all the stuff out before he came. I took the transmission out by myself, which was interesting. But um, it's gonna be a lot harder going back in probably, like lining everything up. But that's why he came out, so it's all good. And we get to do things like old times. So, I'm happy. Hell yeah. All right, Austin's gonna give you a quick tour of the garage. What, I am? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess the garage, yeah. So I did the same flooring Kyle has in his house. Nice. And then um, I got a little rack over here to put shit on. I need to clean it up, obviously. Shit rack. And then tools for the yard, and then I got my my own little workbench, and it's got power outlets, which is nice. Got a little fridge in here, um, and then just miscellaneous Ooh. tools. All the metric on this side, yeah, it's pretty dirty. That's clean, but that's nice. Extra I, parts. I need to get it set up like that. That's pretty nice. And all the heavy duty tools, and then power tools. Of course, Ryobi everything. Yeah, uh, trust that stuff all the time. We've had um, good luck. What else do I have? Power washer. Uh, torch. You always gotta have a torch. Oh yeah, a torch. Yeah. What would you oh, do without a torch? Course, you leave your torches right next to all your flammable liquids. That's, That's always the only the way, way to do it. <laughs> so you know how we just went to the parts store? Well. Uh, it's because I'm an idiot. I knew I ordered one. And uh, yeah, it was hiding in a box. But it's the same part number, so I'm gonna just return it like I was, you know, didn't need it. And uh, get my money back. But whatever, it's fine. Shit happens when you party naked. That's why you always wear socks. So right here we got the fly whistle. We went with Luke. 
good old work. Because we're going to need a lot of that. Yeah. I think I got to do some big parts cleaning on it. Oh, yeah. It looks a little nasty. I wanted a lightweight flywheel, but a lightweight flywheel for, like, Fidanza or whatever. Is that Fidanzia or Fidanza? Fidanza. I don't that know. That one is, like, $400 for a 7-pound. So I just got the OEM 18-pound because, you know, who cares? So, yeah, I'm just putting in OEM parts right now. I got an XZ, like, OEM clutch. Eventually, there's a project I may want to do with this car if I keep it long enough. Um, what? Turns, yeah. <laughs> if. <laughs> I would just run until it blows up, honestly. Let's be honest here. Wait, how does this go? That's the surface of the clutch. Yeah. So that, that faces the clutch. This that faces, faces the, the yeah. block. There we go. It's been a while. Yep. That's okay. It's been a while since I first saw you. And that's good. Oh, love the smell of brake parts cleaner in the morning. Chemicals. I always did love the smell of chemicals. <laughs> Under the car we go. Someone's been making the gains. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Trying to get that, uh, those forearms, the thick forearms. So is that how you like... make your chest look big? Yeah, you rub your titties together. Is that enough Loctite? That looks like enough. <laughs> That's plenty. You just need to drop. Holy shit. Whoops. <laughs> that bitch ain't coming out. <laughs> Sorry, next owner. Because I don't want to do this again. Just remember to use heat. It's almost like we've done this before. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Do I have to put it in gear? Oh. <laughs> yes, you do need to put it in gear. Oh, oh, are we wow. ever gonna do that? Hmm, that's strange. It's been a while. <laughs> so one trick, <laughs> we use a pry bar jammed into the tooth there. So that way we can torque this sucker. So otherwise, that is a pain to do without a transmission. So there you go, little tip. So we went to go get the clutch alignment tool and it's literally split. Look at that, it's cut like all the way down. So we're just gonna get some super glue and try to fix this thing. Nothing a little super glue can't fix. I'm trying to get it to come out, there we go. Ooh wee, oh boy. Don't touch that shit. I wonder what Kyle's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get some ice cream. Can't build a race car without ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Surprise! <No. laughs> yeah. Surprise! <laughs> I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> oh, why am I even taking pictures of this? Because we're taking a video right now. I would just show, say, hey, you wanna see everything that was done? Check this video out. Like, comment, are, are subscribe. You, are you sure you want them to see this? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, the clutch is going I'm doing it the proper way. What do you mean? I don't care if people see it. That's true. I did everything properly. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Japan. This doesn't say anything on this side, so this has to be the transmission side. Right? Yep. It's been a while. It's been a while. Where's the clutch alignment tool? Fuck. <laughs> I think all these extra connectors that aren't hooked up are because it's not an automatic anymore. Oh, it snapped. Did it really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. You put the, the tool through the clutch and then you put it on like that. A little bit of play. That center, that's not. That center, there's a little bit of play. Hmm. We're gonna roll with it. Time for the pressure plate. Uh, where are you? Oh, there we go. Nice. Don't pull that out yet. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm just seeing where it's supposed to be. All right, ready for the noise? Here we go, time to see if this thing goes for flunk. Aw. <laughs> that was sad. Actually? Did it hold up? It held straight. Wow. It's a miracle. Super glue for the win. All right, now the clutch is done. Now for the worst part. Transmission. Oh. So we're just replacing the seals inside here on the input shaft. And uh, it should be pretty straight yeah. forward. This one goes on the rear of the trans, I believe. And this one goes Oh, where did we? Oh, right in here. Inside, inside the housing. Inside in there. there. Yeehaw. So now I'm just going to pull this little seal out and uh, yeah. Go work for your dad jokes anyway. I know. No, I've been preparing for dad jokes for a long time. I already told you about the elephant and the snake, right? The what? What's an elephant and a snake sound like when they fall from a tree? I don't know what. Ba -dum <laughs> hey, you got a hammer? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need a hammer. It's right there. Uh, I hate gaskets. Gaskets are not fun at all. Ow. Ow. You okay? I'm fine. Got it out, just had to make a little relief cut in it so that way it would fit. 
Things nice and clean, and then, uh, where is it? The new oh, one right there. There's the new one right there. So we're just gonna pop that sucker in. We should have the back one done. There's a hole in the bottom of this thing you gotta put at the bottom, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Close. All right, we got the new one on there. We just put the drain hole at the bottom and we're good to go. Got the old one out, now we put the new one in. That one's going in pretty easy. Does it just have to be flush? Yep. You'd want to hit this edge piece here. To just... It's like on the edge, the very edge. See, just, that's where it's strongest. Right on light the edge. Taps. I mean, what do you think? More on that side? Maybe just like a little bit right. Actually, I think I just did it with my finger. <laughs> I think I just got it. That feels pretty good to me. <laughs> cool. All right. Now we just put that sucker on with the little paper gasket. Should be good. This is why I hate glasses. <laughs> this is, I've been dealing with this the whole time. I just got these things constantly like, it's humid here in Florida. <laughs> it is. You walk outside to fog up. <laughs> Woo. Little paper gasket into the input shaft. And with movie magic, it's done. Wow. Time to put on the throw out bearing and lube up this little ball. All right. Yeah, there you go. Just a little bit. Well, you can slap it on there if you want. I'm gonna slap some good grease on that ball. There you go. It won't fall off though, right? It's clipped on. Fine. Thick. That's thick. Wow. Nice. And now, goes back in. So for some reason, these headlamps were causing a strobing effect. So if you are sensitive to light, you may want to fast forward to 14 minutes and 37 seconds because there shouldn't be anything after that. Howdy. So, don't ever do this because this is stupid. I'm literally under the transmission right now. And, uh, well, it's going pretty good. <laughs> so what I need you to do, I need you to slide the PPF into the rear of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. My God, you want to talk about sketchy. Hopefully mom doesn't see this. She might not be too happy. <laughs> uh, you see what I mean by the rear? Yep. Yeah. Just be careful not to pinch my tummy in there. Alright, alright. This ah. came out of the PPF once it was out of the engine. Oh, it's been out of the engine. It's not even close to in. I'm almost in the PPF, but it goes forward a little. Fuck you, mosquito! Ah! Watch your hand for a second. Alright. Okay, that's on. Okay, transmission is hanging on, but it's like cockeyed. Well, whatever. Give me a bolt. I need to get with this in. Yeah, I have the... the for the bottom. Bolts. There you go. Just give me one for the bottom. Let me help you hold it up. I just need something so I can get my arm rest. Oh, the engine's tilting forward. That's the problem. I'm just getting my leg to hold. Okay. Oh! Okay, so the engine is tilting forward. That's the problem. This needs a twist is what it means. Cause that... There you go. There you go. You're almost there. There you go. Good, 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 good. Yeah, you're in the PPF now. Well, let's get, let me get the bolt. Let's get a bolt in there. That's fun. Oh, gotta love clutches. Oh man, my favorite thing in the world. All that and I got a bum shoulder. Ah, get the fuck off me, mosquito, you son of a bitch. This is always the fun part with these fucking transmissions and shit. Oh, it's my shoulder. How can I help? Want me to get uh, a whack? Huh? Want me to give it a whack? You might have to for a second. My yeah. shoulder is fucked up yeah, right now. That's fine. Oh, it's oily under here. Yeah, I have it's no hard. You have no grip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the other part. Right, I got it. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna get to the engine. I'm gonna push on the engine a little, and it should help. Whew. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's see if that helps. See what I mean by the angle? Uh, wood block. Do you got a wood block? I mean, technically speaking, if we just get the bell housing bolts in, can't we just crank it on there? Well, we can try the bell housing oh, bolt just trick. Just a bell housing bolt trick. Yeah. This bitch just bit me on the face. Yeah, they're biting the shit out of me. Yeah. <sighs> These bitches, dude. Ow. Do you have butt bug spray? Uh, not anywhere here. I don't know where it is. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie, looks like we got transmission in there and the drive shafts, so now we're just gonna do the hell fluids. Yeah, hell yeah. Getting closer. That was a pain in the ass. That was a shit show to say the least. Okay, so now we got the uh, headers wrapped, which is gonna be an interesting choice, but once we get that done, we're gonna put the headers in and hopefully get this thing started soon. So we're doing pretty good. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Yeah, one thing I like about the Miata is how easy these headers are to go on. That was simple. Oh yeah, slid right on in. It's nice. not like when you have a turbo and you have to uh, manipulate and weld and 
Yeah, it's amazing what happens when you keep something OEM. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Huh. I did, did the, the crinkle paint myself. Oh yeah, you got the crinkle valve cover. It's nice. It's got like a nice rough texture. He's working on putting in the short shifter and uh, <laughs> it's not exactly going well. Okay, so we got it basically all the way done. We just need to uh, get the intake on and then start this thing up and see if it works. Cause uh, it's a little bit late outside. Got the intake on there, looking pretty good. That's it. Nice golf club to hold that thing up. Now, wait. Hey. Okay, there we go. So I also went to go get the keys for this car. It's basically ready to go. Uh, the only thing is, we're hoping that this fixed the problem because it was a throw out bearing that was completely screwed up. And uh, yeah, hopefully this thing will go in gear and actually start. So let's find out, shall we? So beforehand, the Miata would go into gear when the engine was off. It would shift perfectly fine, but when the engine was running, it would not go into gear at all. So now we're actually gonna find, wait, <laughs> slave cylinder. Ah, crap. Take two. Car would shift when it wasn't in, shift when it wasn't in, uh... It would shift, it would shift in the gear when it wasn't hey. running. But when it was running, it wouldn't shift properly. The pilot bearing was the cause, or so we think. I changed all the master and slave cylinder and all that, and now it should run, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna try to put it in gear when it's running, if it starts. Okey the dokey. battery. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been driven in two weeks, so. Oh, God. Hey, there we go. That sounds pretty good. It's shifting. Tell me if the wheels spin. Yeah, that's in gear. Oh, thank God. It's turning. <laughs> yep. That's moving pretty quick. Hey, what's that great smoke coming out of the back? What? That's a head gasket. <laughs> so right now it's reading my oil pressure, you know how it's talking about the sending unit? Uh -huh. It's reading it at like 45 where it should be, but when it warms up it goes all the way down to like 15. That's okay. For now. Could just be a bad sensor. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. It's running. I feel that weird caliper pulling on it, like dragging. Is it still dragging back there? Yeah. Huh. Oh, well, I can still drive it for a second. Uh, all right, we're just gonna go take it for a quick test drive. Just a quick one. We're gonna go to the gas station, go make sure everything runs right. Obviously, my, my caliper's sticking in the rear, but it'll drive. Yeah, should be fun. This is the coolest modification on the car. Oh my god. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm losing RPMs because it's breaking. Minimum, at least it's driving. It's just uh, a little slow. Yeah. Well, it is a Miata. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. I always forget about that. It don't sound too bad, you know. What's that? I don't sound terrible. Oh, my yeah, brakes. That's true. Good stuff. Look at that gas brakes. <laughs> oh no, damn. No gas. No gas. <laughs> Got none. Oh, focus, you damn piece of shit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Love the soundtrack. Oh yeah. <laughs> Running a little bit hot for some reason. Are the fans plugged in? Smoking pretty bad. Look at that. What the hell? Yeah, maybe the fans aren't turning on because that's odd. Fans are plugged in. Oh, there they go. Good. Leave that on. That'll help cool it. Boy, that is something else. What? It's a good thing he's here too because he just solved our mystery in about five minutes. We're over here talking about everything and he said, hey, touch the, the hose at the bottom, the, the lower radiator it's hose. Cool. And I was like, Mmm, that sounds like a trick. And then I went and I touched it and it was cold. So it means, they are saying it means that uh, the clogged thermostat. So that's an easy fix I can do by myself. It doesn't really matter. It's just something else for him to fix. Yeah. <laughs> It'll work though. But I fixed plenty of radiator in my day. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Miata's always the answer. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Well, have fun with that. 